Good evening and welcome back to Suzanne Elizabeth's Kitchen. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a rosemary lemon roast chicken. Everybody should have this dish in their repertoire. It's so easy to make. It's such a classic. Everybody loves roast chicken and it's something that everybody loves. So whether it's date night or you have um, your significant other's parents coming for a first meet and greet, this is going to be one dish that you'll want to prepare for them and serve it with wine, of course, and uh, a potato, a simple vegetable, and we can talk about those in a minute. But let's get started, shall we? So, here's my chicken. It's still in its wrapper, and I did this on purpose because I want to show you how easy this is from start to finish, that there's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to roasting chicken. And so just take it out of the wrapper and let's see if you can see, I have a little um, sink right here. Now you reach into the center cavity and pull out this bag of giblets and just put that, toss that, here's the, the famous garbage bowl, toss that in there. You can, you can use the, the giblets later uh, to make a gravy if you'd like. After you take out the heart, uh, you don't want to cook that. But, um, so now what you're going to do is just rinse, rinse the chicken and just make sure you get it rinsed out all over and you want it to be nice and clean so that all of the flavors you add from this point forward are going to be flavors that you wanted. So let's see. Okay. The bird is rinsed, and now we're just going to put it in our what will be our roasting dish. And this is the easy part. We're going to take a lemon, and I'm rolling it to release all the juices. And I'm going to cut the lemon in half and give it a good squeeze over the chicken so that we get all that flavor on the skin. And then inside the chicken, and let's do that with the other half as well. As you can see, I'm getting lemon juice everywhere. So, put the hab into the cavity there see and I have some sprigs of rosemary that I've just taken off of my rosemary plant and we're just gonna stuff those in there now I keep a little washcloth here to wipe my hands with and we are we are observing the 22nd rule but so far since I'm not transferring, I'm not touching any other food, any other dishes, um, everything is just working right here on this board, I'm still okay. So now I've cut the top off of um, this half of a uh, head of garlic. It's a full head of garlic, but I've cut the top off. So, and then that entire clove or entire head of garlic is going to go into this cavity and it's going to roast and just impart the most wonderful flavors. Um, the next thing I want to do, and this is the key to greatness. Now what I've done, I'm talking about not transferring flavors, here is some butter, some room temperature, it's very soft, softened butter. Um, what I'm going to do now is reach under the skin here, and I want to see if I can, there we go, in between 
Can you see that? Let's see that cavity there. You're not in this cavity where we put all the aromatics. You're here between the skin. The breast meat is there, and here's the skin, and I've created a pocket with my fingers. And I'm going to do this on the other side as well. And don't be afraid to just gently work your finger in there. And you can see how I'm getting all the way down there? Okay, so there is a point to this madness, and that is that you want to take some butter and just put it in there. And you see how I'm rubbing it down? And that's, I'm rubbing the butter in between the skin and the breast. And I'm doing the same on this side. And what you're going to be doing is, of course, this butter is going to um, melt as you roast the chicken. And it's going to impart this wonderful moisture. And it's like basting the chicken from the inside. Now I've taken a little sprig of my rosemary and put that in there. Again, in between the skin and the breast. Just put one little sprig of rosemary in there. And now I'm going to take the rest of my butter and just give this bird a massage. He's going to love it. And you're going to love it when you taste how good this little chicken tastes when you finish cooking him. So, there we go. He's gotten a good massage. He's all covered in butter. And now I'm going to wash my hands. So, the rosemary's in there. If you can find some more room, go ahead and stick the rest of that in there because we are going to tie this bird up in a little bit. Um, so, it's stuffed. Just fold that over. We're, we're going to get our uh, string and tie this. If you can, do that. If you don't have any string, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and roast the bird. By the way, I have preheated my oven to 425. And now I'm going to turn under the wings like that, just so he's like... <laughs> you see? He's giving you a little aha action. So you just you just want to turn the wings underneath the bird's body. And um, so that's all set. Now, I'm going to put salt and pepper on top, but now is a good time to wash your hands. And remember the 22nd rule. So here's my soap, and I'm going to use the bottom part of my hand and start scrubbing for 20 seconds. And remember, I always say that uh, sing happy birthday to Suzanne. Why not? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Suzanne. Happy birthday to you. And now my hands are nice and clean. I'm rinsing them under warm water. And no, I'm not going to use this towel again because I'd used it before. So, drying my hands off. Salt. And just put that all over the outside of your buttered bird. And just a side note, for those of you who are going to be doing a turkey for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Everything that I've done here with this chicken, you can do the same thing with a turkey and it will be perfect, I promise you. So that's easy. Salt, pepper, butter. Inside is lemon, garlic, rosemary. That's it. I promise you, you're gonna roast this bird for an hour and a half at 425 and if you want to baste it, baste it. Honestly, I've done it both ways. I, I tend not to baste the bird very much simply because you've got the bird, you've got the butter underneath the skin 
And I find that if I don't baste it, the skin gets nice and crispy, um, which is what I love because I love the skin. So don't baste the bird or baste it, your choice. Um, roast it for an hour and a half. Um, this is about a, a five pound bird. To test for doneness, you grab a fork and prick the breast and the thigh or the leg and if the juices run clear, you're good to go. And that's it for this evening. Um, oh, quickly, while this is cooking for an hour and a half, this is a great time to, um, you could throw a couple of spuds in for the last hour and have baked potato. You could um, saute some spinach um, on your stove with olive oil and garlic Roast some Brussels sprouts for the last 30 minutes in the oven. Um, top the Brussels sprouts with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper. Fantastic. That's a fantastic choice. In fact, maybe that's what I'll do tonight. Um, whip up some quick mashed potatoes. Boil some potatoes in water. Drain them. Add uh, cream cheese, milk, butter, uh, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. Your choice. Um, mash quickly and you've got mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, uh, rosemary, garlic, lemon roasted chicken is a wonderful dinner that everyone will enjoy. So there you go. It's just going on 12 minutes and we have a bird that's ready to go into the oven. So have a great evening. Enjoy a glass of wine. Bring your family around the table and enjoy a meal together. This is Suzanne Elizabeth wishing you all the best and I'll see you next time. Cheers!